This woman gets married every day. Her wedding invitations fill an entire drawer. Even the hotel staff are baffled, because she just had a wedding here last week. She warned them not to meddle in her affairs. This bizarre experience is due to her unique profession. Sang Yoon is a contract marriage expert. In simple terms, she pretends to be the wife of single men to help them deal with the troubles that come with not being married. Some use weddings as a way to make a fortune, while others fulfill their elderly relatives' dying wishes. Sang Yin's exceptional skills allow her to handle clients from all walks of life. She charms even the wealthiest clients, boosting her fake husband's careers to new heights. Even Dubai tycoons are among her customers. Her great reputation has earned her a fortune, but money alone isn't enough to buy her services. First, clients must pass Sang Yoon's video interview, where she learns their needs before meeting and signing a contract. This man had a simple request, to attend his school reunion as his wife and shock his classmates who mocked him for being single. When Sang Yoon made her grand entrance, she instantly attracted everyone's attention. Seeing the two interact, they were stunned, unable to believe this man could land such a wife. Sang Yoon wiped the rice from his lips and arrogantly walked away, making the man feel proud. In her 13 years of service, she's helped hundreds of clients, but this man was her most mysterious regular. When they first met, his profile contained nothing but a photo, and he proposed to her immediately, booking Sang Yoon's services every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Jiho's request was simple just to have dinner together, and he always cooked. Jiho rarely spoke, and in five years their conversations totaled fewer than 50 sentences. Afterward, Sang Yoon was about to leave as usual, thinking Jiho wasn't interested in women. But strangely, his phone was filled with pictures of women, and he had a hobby of studying criminal cases. One day, while eating at a restaurant, Jiho accidentally spotted the girl from the photos on his phone. His eyes suddenly filled with murderous intent. That night, Jiho secretly followed the girl home, but she sensed something was off. She quickly picked up her pace and ran home. She rushed inside and hurried upstairs while Jiho hid in a corner, watching her enter the house. The next day, he attended a psychology class to learn how to better interact with others. Afterward, he was given a questionnaire about his family. Having no close relatives or friends, Jiho contacted Sang Yoon, asking her about some of her daily preferences. Sang Yoon, confused, answered all his questions one by one. She wanted to ask him what was going on, but Jiho had already hung up. What's wrong with him? She says. Meanwhile, Hei Jin, who was constantly portrayed in the media as a playboy, was filming a breakup scene with a famous actress. However, she intentionally turned the fake scene into a real one and slapped him hard. The director immediately applauded her for it. Hei Jin, unaware, was completely stunned. The actress, caught up in the moment, almost hit him with a vicious kick. In reality, Hei Jin wasn't a bad guy. Thirteen years ago, at a family gathering, he saw an incredibly beautiful and cool girl for the first time. Her sensual figure was hard to forget. That night, he secretly went to a bar to unwind and was discussing moving plans with his assistant when he noticed a man staring at her. The assistant thought it was a killer and rushed over to grab his phone, sparking a conflict between the two. Little did Hei Jin know he had just brushed past his first love. Meanwhile, Sang Yoon was preparing to retire and planned to have one last meal with Ji Ho. Every dish Ji Ho prepared was Sang Yoon's favorite. The end of the month approached, and just as Sang Yoon made up her mind to announce her decision, Ji Ho spoke up first. This irritated Sang Yoon, as she had always been the one to initiate a divorce. She stated that her career didn't allow for breaking contracts, and she walked out. She couldn't explain why she felt this way. At the same time, the news reported that a woman had been stabbed to death, it was the same girl Ji Ho had been following. A wealthy woman who never checks prices when shopping picked up a limited edition bag without asking about the cost, paying for it immediately. However, despite her lavish spending, she lived in a dark, dingy basement filled with luxury goods. Despite having an endless amount of money, she threw it on the floor in frustration. Shockingly, she hadn't paid rent for six months. The landlord threatened to call the police if she didn't pay rent, but the wealthy woman didn't care. Realizing she had gone off topic, the landlord demanded the rent again. The woman casually handed her a Hermes bag. The landlord immediately stopped complaining this bag was worth several years of rent. She couldn't resist asking to borrow it for a while, but the woman looked annoyed and said she never used anything touched by others. She then complained about the poor ventilation in the hallway, sprayed some perfume, and quickly shut the door. It turns out that this wealthy woman was Sang Yoon's adoptive mother. Twenty years ago, she visited an orphanage and immediately noticed the refined features of little Sang Yoon. She adopted her and treated her like a princess, teaching her aristocratic table manners and making her study eight different languages. Sang Yoon was deeply grateful for the woman's care until one day when she hurt her knee and cried out for her mother. 
That was when the woman revealed the truth about the adoption. She had only adopted Sang Yun to groom her into a noblewoman and use her to form a marriage alliance with a wealthy conglomerate. As Sang Yun grew older, she began to resent family gatherings. During one, she spilled wine on her arranged marriage partner's head and smeared a pie in their face, turning the party into chaos. At that moment, Hei Jin fell in love with her. Afterward, Sang Yun left the wealthy family to become independent. She gave her adoptive mother a bank book, stating that she would repay her for raising her by sending 30 million won each month for 13 years. Until one day, her adoptive mother found her and told her to stop sending money. Having repaid the debt of gratitude, Sang Yun planned to terminate her contract with Jiho early. However, Jiho spoke first, which triggered Sang Yun's competitive side. She decided to fulfill her remaining 27 days as his contracted wife out of pride. Her male best friend asked if she might have fallen in love with him, pointing out how miserable she seemed. He thought Jiho must be a romantic man. Sang Yun recalled the time when the two of them washed dishes together and the physical contact created a sense. Just when she thought there was something romantic, the straight-laced man said something completely unrelated. There was another time when Sang Yun had her hand in a cast and couldn't hold a spoon to eat. She thought Jiho would help her, but instead he pulled out three straws which frustrated her so much that she almost exploded. It's something she still vividly remembers. Feeling down, Sang Yun went to a nightclub to dance and release her emotions. However, a man grabbed her inappropriately. Sang Yun In immediately pushed him away, but the man only became more aggressive, wrapping his arm around her waist. This enraged Sang Yun, and with a quick move she flipped him over and kicked him, subduing him with a sweeping motion. However, her shoe flew off, causing her to lose balance and fall to the ground, where another accomplice grabbed her hair. At that moment, a bottle suddenly hit the man's head. A man in black appeared, picked up her shoe, and swiftly dealt with the remaining thugs. He approached Sang Yun. It was her fake husband, Jiho. He gently helped her put her shoe back on and held her hand as they left the scene. But the grip on her hand was too tight, causing her pain, and she suddenly woke up it had all been a dream. She looked and realized it was just her roommate. Meanwhile, Sang Yun's adoptive mother wrote a will and entrusted a friend to give a savings book to Sang Yun. It turned out that all these years, she hadn't spent a cent of the money Sang Yun had been sending her. Instead, she had saved up 4 billion won. After writing the letter, she picked up a scarf, stood on a chair, and prepared to end her life. Just then, the phone rang. It was the same person who had been arranged to marry Sang Yun before, now the president of the Jiangyang group. He wanted to recruit Sang Yun's adoptive mother to work for his company. That day, Sang Yun went to Jiho's house for dinner, as usual. When the elevator doors opened, she unexpectedly saw Jiho and Hai Jin together. Hei Jin blurted out Sang Yun's real name and noticed the wedding ring on her finger. Hei Jin, who lived upstairs, felt a sense of loss. He couldn't understand why Sang Yun had to hide her identity. That night he saw a news report about a murder. Suddenly there was a loud noise outside. Hei Jin went to the fire escape to check, only to see Jiho downstairs with a weapon, practicing attacking someone. Terrified, he quickly pulled out his phone to call the police but it slipped out of his hand and fell to the ground. Jiho noticed someone was watching and immediately fled. Hei Jin cautiously went downstairs but only found a stack of bad photos of murdered girls. Wasn't this the victim from the news report she had just seen? Horrified, he ran away, unable to sleep the entire night. He finally reunited with her first love, but now realized her husband was a murderer. Remembering the photos he had dropped, he rushed back to retrieve them, but they were already gone. For five years she and Jiho had been a fake couple. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, Sang Yun would come over for dinner. But this time, the famous celebrity from upstairs, Hei Jin, stopped her and told her that her husband was extremely dangerous. Just then, Jiho opened the door. It was the first time Sang Yun had ever heard him referred to as husband which made her feel a bit shy. Seeing Hei Jin holding onto his wife, Jiho was visibly unhappy. Realizing what was happening, Sang Yun quickly pulled away. Hei Jin didn't beat around the bush and directly questioned Jiho's identity. Hei Jin pointed out Sang Yun's strange behavior on the fire escape the previous night and suspected Jiho might be the murderer behind the recent killings. Sang Yun grew fearful after hearing this. It is shown that Jiho is a prosecutor. It turns out the woman he had been following was going through a divorce with her husband. He noticed she had injuries and suspected she was a victim of domestic violence, which is why he used a knife to simulate the crime scene. After hearing this, Sang Yun instantly looked at him with admiration. Hei Jin cross-examined Sean, asking why he always left in the middle of the night and returned after a few days only to leave again. Just as Sang Yun was about to explain the contract marriage situation, Ji Ho suddenly pulled her into an embrace. 
Sang Yoon experienced for the first time the protective nature of a straightforward man and was still immersed in the joy of being cared for. However, Ji Ho, who had come to his senses, quickly pushed her away, leaving Sang Yoon feeling confused. This was their last dinner together. Ji Ho asked her about her future plans, and Sang Yoon said she wanted to fall in love. Although she had been married several times, she had never truly experienced being in love. Time flew by, and when they said their goodbyes, there was a sense of reluctance from both of them. As Sang Yoon drove away, someone secretly took photos of her from a distance. The next day, Sang Yoon went shopping with her male best friend but ran into a former client on the way. The man thought she was still working, so to avoid unnecessary trouble, Sang Yoon claimed they were in a relationship to quickly get rid of him. Little did she know, the man's eyes turned malicious. That night, Sang Yoon went to Ji Hao's apartment to give him the divorce papers but was stopped by a man wearing a helmet blocking her path. He pulled out a machete and threatened Sang Yoon, who, frightened, had no choice but to comply. As they walked into an alley, Sang Yoon couldn't hold back and questioned who he was. The man's voice was altered, making it impossible for her to tell if he was a client she had offended. Seeing the man swing the machete towards her, Sang Yoon, who wasn't one to be trifled with, kicked the helmeted man to the ground. Furious, the man threw a sandbag at her, causing Sang Yoon to fall to the ground while dodging. Just as the man was about to strike with the blade, Hei Jin suddenly appeared and kicked him away. The helmeted man quickly got up and fled. Hei Jin helped Sang Yoon back to her place and brought out a first aid kit to treat the wounds on her back. This intimate interaction made Hei Jin, who was usually composed, feel a flutter of excitement. Noticing that Sang Yoon wasn't wearing a wedding ring, he asked about her relationship with Ji Ho, as he had noticed she visited every other day, stayed for a few hours, and then left, which didn't seem like the behavior of a normal married couple. He even thought that Ji Ho might have been controlling her in some unspeakable way. Sang Yoon, amused by his speculation, laughed and, thinking that her arrangement with Ji Ho was over, said she was just a housekeeper. Meanwhile, Jiho was downstairs when a neighbor told him that his wife had been attacked and had been taken upstairs by a resident. Upon returning home, Jiho felt restless, and certain embarrassing thoughts filled his mind. He grabbed the divorce papers and rushed upstairs, only to bump into Sang Yoon at the elevator. Jiho casually suggested that they have dinner together. During the meal, Sang Yoon recounted her attack, hoping to get some concern from Jiho. To her surprise, Jiho said it was normal because Sang Yoon's line of work involved exploiting men's insecurities. He explained that extremely insecure people tend to act out violently, believing that if they can't have her, they would rather destroy her. Jiho implied that Sang Yoon brought it upon herself, which upset her. The two parted ways on bad terms. The next day, Sang Yoon found the divorce papers Jiho had given her and discovered a concert ticket to a show she really liked inside. She was taken aback and wondered if Jiho was trying to pursue her. Sang Yoon immediately called to ask what was going on, but Ji Ho told her to enjoy herself, showing no intention of joining her. This left Sang Yoon, who was filled with anticipation, feeling shy. Little did she know, Ji Ho was busy investigating the helmeted man. Sang Yoon went to Hei Jin's place to return some clothes and take back her belongings. Just then, the doorbell rang, it was Ji Ho. Hei Jin thought he was there to see Sang Yoon, but Ji Ho said he was there to see him because the helmeted man who attacked Shang In was someone Hei Jin knew. The socially anxious judge had brought his colleagues home for dinner, but he was shocked by the changes in his house it was filled with wedding photos of him and Sang Yoon. His boss praised the warmth of the home, surprised that a straightforward man could have such a cozy house. However, he was puzzled by how Ji Ho had so much vacation time. When Ji Ho stepped forward to take a closer look, he realized that the photos were all of him and Sang Yoon on various trips. Previously, the boss had encouraged Jiho to improve his relationships with his colleagues and invited them to go on a trip together. But when the boss saw Jiho arrive alone, he was furious and yelled, asking if Jiho was an antisocial person. Fortunately, Sang Yoon arrived just in time to defuse the awkwardness. When the boss learned that the two were married, he was astonished, never imagining Jiho had such a beautiful wife. To leave a good impression on the boss, Sang Yoon proactively invited him and Jiho to dinner together. During their conversation, Sang Yoon discovered that Ji Ho had a distant relationship with his colleagues, rarely being included in gatherings. She explained that Ji Ho suffered from social anxiety, making it difficult for him to interact with others. The boss responded that it was excessive not to even inform him about the wedding, creating a somewhat awkward atmosphere. Meanwhile, Sang Yoon held onto Ji Ho's hand to steady him, spinning a tale of their romance being opposed by their parents, which immediately resonated with the boss. Ji Ho, however, was shocked thinking Sang Yoon was bold to fabricate such stories. After dinner, 
Shengen continued to hold Jiho's hand until the boss left. On their way back, they suddenly encountered a delivery man who lost control and charged towards Sang Yun, bringing back memories of that night with the helmeted man. Jiho shielded Sang Yun, fearing for her safety, a gesture that touched Sang Yun deeply. Jiho revealed that he had identified the helmeted man and proposed extending their contract marriage. He discovered through surveillance that the man was a stalker and that his target was actually Hei Jin. The attack on Sang Yun might have been a misunderstanding of their relationship. That night, Hei Jin discovered the helmeted man hiding in a corner during an initial event. The next day he was surrounded by reporters at the entrance of his community. It turned out that news online had revealed him as a lesbian. His wealthy father wasted no time, insisting that he move back home and arranging a business marriage for him, claiming that his public appearances for acting and advertising were bringing shame to the family. That evening, Hei Jin expressed to his mother that he would not agree to the arranged business marriage. Just then, he spotted Sang Yun passing by. Hei Jin walked up to her, apologized and put sunglasses on her, then covered her face with a scarf and led her in front of the reporters. At that moment, Sang Yun was completely unaware of what was happening. I'm married, Hei Jin announced. Sang Yun's eyes widened in shock, and this scene was witnessed by Ji Ho, who recognized Sang Yun immediately and felt his teeth almost grinding in anger. Sang Yun confronted Hai Jin, asking why he had acted on his own. Hai Jin replied, I have a guest coming to pick you up. Without hesitation, Sang Yun refused, stating she wouldn't just meet anyone. With that, she turned and walked away. Hei Jin desperately pleaded, explaining that the reason he wanted to become a contract wife with her was primarily to protect his mother. Hearing this made Sang Yun hesitate and say she would think about it. Hei Jin then gave Shang a car key, instructing her to drive the vehicle to avoid the masked man downstairs. However, after searching for a while, Sang Yun couldn't find it until she discovered a small motorcycle hidden in a corner along with the delivery outfit. Disguised, Sang Yun managed to escape from the masked man. Next day, Sang Yun softened her heart and decided to help Hei Jin once more. However, when she disguised herself and arrived at Hei Jin's house, she unexpectedly ran into Ji Ho, who had just come home from work. Feeling guilty, she hid in a corner. Ji Ho noticed her through the reflection and suspected she was the helmeted man who had attacked Sang Yun. He rushed over and tried to confront her, but Sang Yun quickly knocked him down. Just as she was about to escape, Ji Ho caught her again, lifted the helmet visor, and discovered it was Sang Yun. Shocked, he pushed her away and fled in confusion. Sang Yun, however, was determined to find Hei Jin. She took off her jacket in front of him, transforming back into the elegant beauty she was known as. After discussing the details of the contract, she presented Hei Jin with an agreement for review. Seeing the price, Hei Jin was taken aback but eventually agreed, and the two signed the contract. They began their public appearances together, creating some confusion for the masked man. After some time, Ji Ho found himself constantly thinking about Sang Yun, which distracted him from work. When he consulted a doctor, he was advised to bravely pursue what he wanted. Consequently, he sought out Sang Yun. Meanwhile, Sang Yun's life was complicated. She had two husbands. A superstar was eager to claim her as his. However, the judge noted that the couple had already collaborated for five years. The two were at a standoff until Ji Ho noticed the scratch marks from a cat on Sang Yun's hand. Eventually, they reached a compromise Sang Yun would stay with Ji Ho on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and with Hei Jin on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. One day, Jiho's boss approached him, asking him to host a Friday night gathering to help him, a socially anxious person, integrate better with his colleagues. The boss didn't care whether Jiho agreed or not. Sang Yun told Jiho that hosting a gathering like this was a piece of cake for her. She immediately took Jiho to the mall to buy everything they needed. As expected, women never get tired of shopping, but Jiho was so exhausted that he started questioning his life choices. Later, they went to a photo studio to take pictures. At first, Jiho was uncomfortable, but under Sang Yun's patient guidance, he gradually let loose. On the way back, Jiho looked at Sang Yun and suddenly threw himself toward her. The sudden closeness left them both stunned, and Jiho quickly explained that there was a mosquito. Sang Yun, feeling flustered, quickly turned on some music to ease the awkwardness, but what came on was a romantic love song, making the atmosphere even more intimate. Early Friday morning, Sang Yun came to Jiho's house and redecorated it putting up the photos they had taken earlier. She even hired a team of five-star chefs to cook dinner. The once cold and sterile home was transformed into a warm and romantic space, leaving Ji Ho completely surprised. Soon, the dinner party began. Sang Yun, who couldn't hold her alcohol, kept avoiding drinks. While in the restroom, she accidentally overheard Ji Ho's colleagues gossiping. 
saying that because she didn't drink, there must be some unspeakable secret between her and Jiho. Upon returning to the table, Sang Yoon challenged the female colleague to a drinking contest. After some intense rounds, she quickly outdrank everyone, leaving only Jiho sitting upright and serious. By then, Sang Yoon had become wild and carefree. Soon, someone began showcasing their talents, and Sang Yoon jumped in to perform a sexy dance. Amidst the chaotic festivities, she lost track of time and fell asleep. Upon waking, she realized she had to head upstairs to work, so she casually dressed and went to Hei Jin's house. The two of them took a stroll in the community garden, allowing the people to capture photos of their date to dispel rumors of Hei Jin being a lesbian. Sang Yoon, who hadn't slept well, leaned against Hei Jin, making his heart race as he mistakenly thought Sang Yoon had feelings for him. This was perfectly timed, as Jiho happened to pass by while running, instantly feeling jealous. In a daze, Sang Yoon recalled what happened before she blacked out the night before. While playing a game, her colleagues had prompted her and Jiho to kiss. However, Jiho began lecturing them about laws and regulations. Frustrated by the drunken chatter, Sang Yoon stood up, walked over and grabbed Jiho's chin, kissing him directly. This shocking scene makes Sang Yoon awake. Eventually, Sang Yoon could no longer hold on and fell asleep. Hei Jin intended to tell her to go home, but Jiho was already blocking the door, worried about Sang Yoon being alone with Hei Jin. Thus, the two men kept a mutual watch over each other until Sang Yoon woke up and quickly made an excuse to leave. The next day, Sang Yoon called a cleaning service to tidy up the place and didn't mention the kiss from the previous night at all, making Jiho think it was all just a game to her. He then issued an order for Sang Yoon and the workers to leave. Sang Yoon left with a confused look on her face, not understanding what she had done wrong. One day, Sang Yoon came to pick him up from the courthouse after work. When they got home, she suggested having a few drinks. Jiho, who never drinks, made an exception and had a glass with her. Watching the rain outside put Sang Yoon in a calm mood. When she turned around, she saw that Jiho had already passed out from the single glass of alcohol. Looking at his face up close, Sang Yoon couldn't resist leaning in. Just as she was about to kiss him, she froze. Realizing how crazy she was being, she was about to leave when Jiho suddenly grabbed her hand. Since Jiho drunkenly confessed his feelings last time, Sang Yoon couldn't help but feel a little thrill inside, knowing that the man she secretly liked also liked her. However, when Jiho was sober, he was completely clueless about love almost frustratingly so. To figure out how Sang Yoon really felt about him, he invited her to his boss's family gathering. He planned to show off in front of the woman he liked, but instead, he ended up becoming the butt of everyone's jokes. Fortunately, Sang Yin's impressive basketball skills helped restore his dignity as a husband. Jiho was also very attentive when turning corners, and he even put a blanket over her legs to prevent her from flashing anyone. When Sang Yun went to pick up a ball, Jiho rushed over to stop her and told her to stay put. During a break, Jiho noticed that Sang Yun was rubbing her back, so he secretly brought her a back support patch. Even the most stoic of men can surprise you and Sang Yoon was deeply touched. Their employer-to-employee -employee relationship began to change. Meanwhile, Hei Jin's mother made a surprise visit to see what kind of fox spirit her celebrity son's girlfriend was, especially since Hei Jin had rejected even wealthy Harris's from prominent family alliances. She was frustrated that Hei Jin was not interested in money, which only made her angrier. However, the assistant stated that she had only seen the woman a few times. To her surprise, Sang Yoon, dressed like a housewife, appeared. The lady was stunned and stepped forward to block Sang Yoon's path, inspecting her from head to toe. She couldn't believe her son had such poor taste. Shaking her head helplessly, she invited Sang Yoon for tea to chat. The two went to a nearby high-end restaurant, where the lady intentionally pulled out a French menu to hand to Sang Yoon, clearly intending to make things difficult for her. However, Sang Yoon, who was fluent in eight languages, didn't show off her skills. Instead, out of respect, she let the lady take the lead on the order. But before they could finish their tea, the lady asked Sang Yoon to leave, unable to tolerate sitting with someone cheap, thinking her attire would lower her own status. However, the lady's assistant disagreed. Earlier, when the server almost brought the wrong tea, she discreetly knocked on the table to signal that she understood the French menu. She also overheard conversations in French from the next table about art. Upon hearing this, the lady began to realize that Sang Yoon was not as simple as she seemed, so she called her son, claiming she would investigate Sang Yoon's background. To her surprise, Hei Jin warned her mother that if she took any actions, he would sever their mother-son relationship. Meanwhile, Sang Yoon was preparing to leave work when she encountered a visibly weak Hei Jin. She helped Hai Jin to a hotel where an event was happening, but just as she was about to leave, she found Hei Jin collapsed on the ground, Sang Yoon took care of him, and by the time she left the hotel, 
It was already the next evening. She wondered why Jiho hadn't contacted her all day. When she checked her phone, she saw a headline about a news article. Sang Yoon thought about how she hadn't changed her clothes and wondered how she would explain that to Jiho. Just then, he called, and after learning that she had just left the hotel, he said he was almost there. Suddenly, it started raining heavily. As Hei Jin entered the lobby to escape the rain, he ran into Sang Yoon and took the opportunity to introduce her as his fiancée to the female lawyer he was with. Female lawyer introduced herself and says she is married to him, point toward the entrance. Sang Yoon looked up in shock to see Jiho walking in, and the feelings they had carefully built up quickly started to cool down. Jiho explained that he had been divorced for seven years but Sang Yoon remained silent, and a feeling of doubt started to creep into her heart. Feeling disheartened, she wandered off to a park. Jiho, also unsettled, met his therapist for drinks to talk through his emotions, and the therapist encouraged him to bravely confess his feelings. At the same time, Sang Yoon encountered the helmeted man again, who glared at her menacingly, scaring her to death. Thankfully, Hei Jin, who had snuck out of his busy schedule to thank Sang Yoon for taking care of him by spending some time with her, arrived just in time. He offered to take her somewhere to make up for it and gave her a camera as a gift, accidentally tangling her hair in the strap. Just then, a very drunk Jiho stumbled upon them, mistakenly thinking Hei Jin was attacking Sang Yoon. He rushed forward, jumped on Hei Jin, and began hitting him with his fists. Sang Yoon tried to pull Jiho away and explained that he was just drunk. When they both looked over, they saw Jiho passed out in an awkward position. Hei Jin had no choice but to call his uncle for help. They took Jiho to a lakeside campsite to let him sober up. While Jiho slept, Sang Yoon and Hei Jin drank, had fun, and gazed at the stars. After a few rounds of drinks, they were both a little tipsy. Hei Jin went to get some snacks, and when he returned, he overheard Sang Yoon saying that she wished someone would love her. Unable to control himself, he kissed her. At that exact moment, Jiho opened his eyes and thought he was dreaming. The next day, after they returned home, Jiho warned Hai Jin not to cross any lines, but Hai Jin responded that he and Sang Yoon had already confessed their feelings for each other the previous night. Jiho wondered if that wasn't just a dream. Sang Yoon, on the other hand, was deeply troubled, wondering whether she should explain things to Jihao. On another note, as Jihao prepared to go for a run, he encountered his ex-wife. Upon learning that Jiho lived there, she mistakenly thought it was for her sake that he bought a house in that area, as she had often mentioned it before. Sang Yoon, who was hiding nearby, felt a pang of bitterness. His ex-wife questioned who could marry a man so picky, and she added that the fiancé must have considerable wealth if she was with him. Sang Yoon hadn't expected Jiho to view her in that light, which made her furious, and she walked away. That evening, she received a text from Jiho asking why she hadn't come to work that day. After holding back her frustration all day, she found it hard to respond. Sang Yoon, preparing to leave, confronted Jiho, wanting her to explain her conversation with his ex-wife that morning. However, he shot back, asking about the kiss they shared the night before. Neither of them was willing to back down, and an argument ensued. Suddenly it started to rain, prompting them to seek shelter in the car. Jiho could only sulk in silence until, out of the blue, he leaned in and kissed her. Years ago, Jiho picked up his wife from work to celebrate their wedding anniversary, but right in front of him, she accepted her boss's invitation to dinner. Jiho watched his wife leave in disappointment. Then, he overheard two of her colleagues whispering apparently, his wife and her boss were having an affair. However, Jiho still chose to trust his wife. The next day, he prepared a meal early, waiting for her to return home, but she made an excuse saying she had to work late. In reality, she was flattering her boss. No matter how much Jiho humbly gave, in return, all he received was neglect. After being hurt time and time again, Jiho finally chose to divorce. It wasn't until he met Sang Yoon that his long-closed heart was opened once more. Sang Yoon was about to prepare a loving dinner for him, but Jiho's ex-wife happened to show up. Upon hearing Sang Yoon mention her ex-husband's name, she immediately called her boss, Hei Jin, informing him that his girlfriend was involved with her ex-husband. To her surprise, Hei Jin remained calm, explaining that Sang Yoon was just his contract girlfriend to avoid gossip and pressure from his family to marry. Jiho's ex-wife, still in disbelief, angrily confronted him, accusing Jiho of finding another woman just to hurt her. Jiho didn't want to argue and directly threw her out. Meanwhile, Hei Jin, sensing trouble, rushed home just in time to intercept Sang Yoon, claiming he had something important to discuss with her, but in reality he didn't want her to see Jiho and his ex-wife together and get upset. Panicking, Hei Jin picked Sang Yoon up and ran, causing the shrimp he just bought to fall onto the ground. 
Sang Yun angrily demanded an explanation, and Hei Jin, unsure of what to say, could only apologize. Little did they know, a group of people was secretly photographing them. The next day, the true nature of Hei Jin's girlfriend was exposed to the public. When Sang Yun saw the report, she was also shocked. Sang Yun's identity had spread throughout the streets, and when Jiho saw the news, he was stunned. He immediately called Sang Yun to comfort her, telling her that he didn't care about what others thought. Sang Yun was deeply touched by his words. She then went to Hei Jin and stated her decision to terminate their contract. Now all she wanted was to be with Jiho. Hei Jin, feeling lost, watched Sang Yun leave. However, what they didn't expect was the news revealing that Sang Yun was a contract wife, and soon all her personal information was exposed online. Her previous contract marriages were dug up, and this explosive news shot straight to the top of the headlines. Unaware, Sang Yun was on a date with Jiho when she overheard people discussing Hei Jin's news. Curious, she took out her phone and searched for it, only to find her own identity exposed. Hei Jin was now in crisis. Yiho's ex wife suggested Hei Jin portray himself as the victim and accuse Sang Yun of being a love scammer. But Hei Jin refused, saying he'd rather quit the entertainment industry than hurt Sang Yun. The next day, they held a press conference to address the rumors about Hei Jin's fiancé. Jiho's ex-wife first confirmed that Sang Yun's past was true, but clarified that it had nothing to do with Hei Jin. Hei Jin, realizing he'd been tricked by her, wanted to rush out and explain but was stopped by his assistant. She then changed her tone, stating that although Sang Yun had many unfortunate marriages, she took every relationship seriously and every husband spoke highly of her character. She expressed hope that Sang Yun would find happiness again. She also confirmed that Jiho and Sang Yun were truly in love and asked the public to give them their blessings, warning that they would take legal action against any further slander. The next day, public opinion shifted rapidly, and people began praising their love story, which raised Hei Jin's popularity to new heights. Hei Jin was confused about how Jiho's ex-wife found all of Sang Yun's ex-husbands. It turned out that the speech was prepared by Jiho. With that, Hei Jin and Sang Yun officially ended their contract. Hei Jin then went to the reporters waiting outside his home and announced that his girlfriend couldn't handle the public attention, so they had chosen to part ways amicably. Meanwhile, Sang Yun and Jiho could finally be together openly. Although they were legally married, they had never held a wedding. Jiho then pulled out a wedding preparation checklist, and the two started planning their wedding. However, disagreements arose when booking the venue. Then, they tried on wedding outfits, but after trying on over 10 outfits, none satisfied Sang Yun. Even when discussing the invitations, they spent half a day debating. When it came time for the wedding professional to step in, Jiho's lack of an excited expression made it difficult to choose until he was so exhausted that he fell asleep. Finally, they made a decision. Both of them returned home completely drained, realizing how hard it was to plan a wedding. Sang Yun suggested they simply invite a few close friends for a meal, and Jiho agreed wholeheartedly. The next day, they went to a fancy restaurant to eat. Sang Yun excused herself to go to the restroom, and Jiho pulled out a ring box, preparing to propose when she returned. Just then, he noticed the staff setting up the venue and thought someone else was preparing to propose. Suddenly, a waiter asked him to step onto the stage. Confused, Jiho found himself standing in the center, with everyone lined up along a red carpet. To his surprise, Sang Yun appeared holding a bouquet of flowers she was the one proposing to him. The two embraced and kissed. Not long after, they invited their friends over for a dinner party to celebrate their marriage. They took a big group photo, bringing their story to a perfect conclusion. Thanks for watching. Please like and drop a heart if you like the story. See you next time.